In today's video, I'm going to show you how to submit your website to the search engines easily, quickly, and most importantly, by yourself. Now, before I demonstrate the process to you, there are a couple of things that you need to understand about submitting your site to search engines. First of all, this is not a paid service. So if any company emails you, you get a suspicious email saying, submit your site to search results or you won't get any traffic, you won't get any rankings, just pay us $100 or whatever money and we'll do it for you. Then that's usually a scam. You don't need to pay any money. You don't need to hire another company or firm to do this for you. It's actually pretty easy and it's a very standard process across the internet. And I'm going to be showing you how to do that yourself. And it doesn't require any money, just requires a little bit of knowledge on how to use the tools that I'm going to show you and use or submit your website to the search results. And one more thing that you'll find interesting to understand is that technically we are not submitting our website to search engines. We are helping search engines to discover the content of our website. And once they discover the content and index it, then search engines can decide when and where and in what positions they should include your website to present to the readers who are actually looking for that information. All right, let's get started with the actual process. So the way we'll be submitting our website to search engines or helping search engines discover the content of our website is by using something called webmaster tools. Now, every search engine that you're concerned with, for example, Google, Bing and others have a set of webmaster tools that they provide access to to webmasters or website owners. And using the webmaster tools, you can verify the ownership of a website help understand how it's been indexed, if you have any security issues, if there are any indexation issues, or if your website provides a good user experience to your users. All that information can be found inside the webmasters tools or uh, other uh, search engines might call it something else. For example, Google used to call itself or Google used to call the webmaster tools, Google webmaster tools, but they recently, I'd say a few years ago, renamed it to Google search console. Bing still calls their webmaster tools, Bing webmaster tools. So we'll be using these kind of tools to verify a website or submit a website to all the search engines and in turn help them understand and index our website. So let's start with the first search engine that we'll be concerned with, with the most, which is Google. So let's start Google Webmaster Tools or figure out how to work with Google Webmaster Tools. So to access Google Webmaster Tools or Google Search Console, just go to Google and type in Google Search Console and you'll be presented with a link like this. Click on it and you'll be taken to the homepage of Google Search Console. Click Start Now. And depending on how, if you have set up this account before, you might directly land to this page right here, or you might be asked to sign in to Google Search Console. And using your uh, Google account, if you already have a Gmail account, that means you have a Google account, you will be able to sign into Google Webmaster Tools. Now, one piece of clarification that I'd like to give you that your Webmaster Tools will not look like this most of the time, or I'd say mostly when you start out. Why my Webmaster Tools looks a little different because I already have a website submitted with Google Webmaster Tools or Search Console. And that's why you see some of this data appearing on the screen right here. Of course, when you start out, if you don't have any uh, website connected, all this information will be completely blank. But that doesn't matter. All that matters is that you have to find the place where you can submit your website or start the process of first verifying your website with Google Search Console. And in Google's terminology, every website that you add to Search Console is called a property. So if your interface looks a little different, then just find the place where it says add new property. And in this case, what I'll find out the information or the place where I find this information is going into the drop down menu right here. And as you can see, the add property section is right here. So you should look for the option where it says add property if your search console is completely blank. And let's say you already have a website. If somebody else added it for you and you're trying to add another website on your own, then you should just go to this drop down menu and just click this add property button. So we'll have this option right here. And there are two options, but just to keep it simple, you should use the URL prefix option as it's the simplest one to set up. So I'll, what I'll do is just click right here. This will activate this drop down menu. And then what I'll do is just type in the website URL, complete URL right here. So what I'll do is just paste the URL right here. So this is the URL of the website I've set up just for this demonstration. So I'll enter the URL right here. I'll click the continue button now. And Google will take some time to process some things and it'll give you some additional information to add to your website. So let's wait for that to finish. And as you can see, it's already finished and you'll see a few different methods for you to prove ownership of your website to Google Search Console or Google in general. Now, the easiest way to do this is by using this method called the HTML tag button, which is the easiest one. So we click on this right here and you see this code appear on the screen, which is a meta name. So just click the copy button right here, which will copy it to your clipboard. And just to show you how it actually appears or how the code looks like, let me just open up Notepad right here. And I'll paste this so you can see how the actual meta code looks like. And this is something that you should copy. Uh, you can paste it in Notepad or just keep it on your clipboard. That's completely fine. Now, once you have this information, let's go back to our website and start the or finish the rest of the process to set up first verification 
and then we'll submit uh, our website to Google or has to help Google understand the intent or content of our website. All right, let's head back to our website now. So as you can see right now, I'm in the backend or the admin area of my WordPress website. And what I need to do right now is first prove ownership or to prove ownership. I have to take this meta tag right here and add it to the header or the footer section of my website. And when Google uh, tries to access my website and then figures out that I've added this exact meta tag, then Google is able to verify that, yes, you are the person who's claiming ownership and you do have access to the admin section of your website, thus proving your ownership. Now, the easiest way to add this information is by using a plugin. And the plugin I recommend you do this with is called All-in-One SEO. So let me show you how to install the plugin first. Go to the plugin section right here, click Add New. And once you're here, go to the search option and type in AIOSEO, which is short for all in one SEO. So AIOSEO, just press enter. And once the search is complete, you'll see this plugin appear right here, all in one SEO or AIOSEO. This is an SEO plugin that'll help you not only verify your website, but also do a lot of other things. But right now we're concerned with only uh, verifying a website first. So in that case, what I'll do is first install the plugin. I already have it installed on my website, but you should see an install button right here, similar to what you see right here. Install, and then once the installation is complete, you'll see an activate button, similar to what you see right here. So once the plugin is installed, just activate it and you'll see this menu entry right here. Once you see that, let's proceed to the next step of adding that meta tag using all in one SEO to our site. To do that, we'll go into all in one SEO's menu right here. And then you'll need to go into the general settings, which you see on the screen right here. Just click on this link right here, which will open up this interface. Ignoring this interface in the general settings, we'll go to the webmaster tools section. Once you're inside the webmaster tools, you need to click the search engine that we are trying to verify our website with. In this case, it's Google. So I'll click Google search console right here, which will open up this Google verification code menu right here. Now I already have the meta tag copied to my clipboard. So I'll just paste it right here and I've pasted it. And as soon as I click away, you will notice that this field will become a little different or uh, Google search console or the code will be parsed by all in one SEO and it will be changed a little bit. Don't worry, that's completely normal. So I'll click outside and you'll see that happen instantly. And now you only have the meta tag right here, which is perfectly fine. So once you've done this, click save changes. And once the changes are saved, the meta tag is now added to your website. And in a few minutes, or I say a couple of hours of time, Google will verify your website or verify your ownership of the website. That's the first step in verifying your website or submitting your website to search engines. And then the next step, once your website is verified, maybe it takes 30 minutes or maybe an hour or so, you can proceed to the next step, that is submitting your sitemap to Google Search Console. Now, before I show you the process of submitting your sitemap to Google Search Console, I also want to address the users who might have already installed another SEO plugin and they want to have another alternate way to add this verification code or meta tag to their website. So let me show you that first. And after that, I'll show you how to take your sitemap and submit it to Google Search Console. Now, if you're, if you're in that bucket and you already have another SEO plugin installed, you might have that feature, but let me show you an alternate way on how to do that. Go into the plugin section once again, go to add new and go right here and type in WP code, which is W-P-C-O-D-E. It's another free plugin that you can use. And as you can see, I already have it installed on my site. I don't have it activated yet. And you can see WP code right here. And what this plugin lets you do is manage code snippets on your site. So if you want to add any kind of code snippets, technically the meta tag is a code snippet, instead of directly messing with your website's files, a WP code offers a safe version of managing and adding uh, code snippets on your site. So let me activate this plugin and I'll show you how to add the meta tag using WP code. So now you can see WP code has been installed and the code snippets menu is also appearing right here. Now we need to add a new code snippet, which you can do by going here right here or going right here in the code snippets section or also inside code snippets, you can go to the add snippets option. So let's click on that. And this will open up the add snippet option. Now, since we are adding a custom code snippet, we can just click this option right here, add your custom code. Let's click use snippet. And this will open up the code snippet menu option. So what I'll do is first name the snippet. So it's, it's easier for me to remember if I, at a later date, I go and check out what the code snippet is about. So I'll type in. And inside the code snippet option, I'll just paste in the meta tag. Make sure that the code type is set to HTML. And here, all the settings can be left at default options. And if you want, you can add a couple of tags right here. For example, I can type in verification. 
This way, if you have a lot of code snippets, then this will easily help you understand what kind of code snippets you have added on your site. And we don't need to change anything else. What I'll do is just click the save snippet or save snippet option. And once it's saved, I'll just enable it by clicking this option right here. And this code snippet will be activated on my website. And similarly, in a couple of hours, maybe 30 minutes, maybe an hour, maybe two hours, Google will verify your ownership of the website. Now, just to remind you, either use the all in an SEO method or the code snippet method. Don't use both of them at the same time, right? So once Google has verified the ownership of your website, that means you own your website. Now it's time to submit your content to Google Search Console using your sitemap. If you don't know what sitemap is, let me just give you an example. It's like an index of a book. So instead of trying to find all the index or find all the content, you have all the content of your website, all the pages, posts, blog posts, anything, present in a tabular form right inside the sitemap. And we'll take the link of that sitemap and we'll submit it to Google Search Console. And that way, Google will be able to index or find or discover all the content that's present on the website in a more easy and quick way, all right? And one important thing I'd like to highlight is that if you're running a website like this, just like this, on the latest version of WordPress, right now it's, I think, 6.0.2, then you already have, have a sitemap created on your website because it's a WordPress native feature now. But if you also have an SEO plugin installed, for example, I have all-in-one SEO installed on my website right now, then the plugin will usually take over the sitemap functionality and create a better feature-rich version of the sitemap. And that's the case right here as well. All-in-one SEO has generated a sitemap and disabled the WordPress's native functionality to generate a sitemap. That's none of the concern or the functionality overall will not change. All you need to understand and the information you need is just the URL of your sitemap because that's how Google will find out the index of your website or find out the content of your website. So let's go into all-in-one SEO right here. And as you can see, there's a sitemap entry right here already. Let me click on that. And once you have this, you'll see this kind of option right here, which is the general sitemap, which we are concerned with. And this is the link to the sitemap This is present right here. If I click on this, this will open up the sitemap on my website. And since this is a test website, I don't have a lot of content right here. You can see all these details right here. And you can see the sitemap is created. And if I put the URL on the screen right here, it's actually submit-website.com forward slash sitemap.xml. This is the actual URL of the uh, sitemap. So what I'll do is just copy the URL right here and paste it in my notepad file right here. I'll just paste it like this. So this is the actual URL of the sitemap. Regardless, if you have any SEO plugin installed, you can go into the SEO plugin and find this URL right here. And this is what you can just paste in a notepad file. And we'll go back to Google Search Console and add this information right there inside uh, Google Search Console and help Google discover the content of a website better, which is technically called also submitting your website to the search engines. All right. So once you're inside Google Search Console, let's submit the sitemap to Google Search Console. And there are two steps to that. First, you need to verify that you have selected the right property. If this is the only property or website you've added, then it will be selected by default. But if you have added multiple properties, you need to make sure that using this drop-down menu that you have selected the right property that you're trying to submit the sitemap for. So once you've done this, go to the sitemaps option right here, which is right here. Click right here. And inside the sitemaps option, you're probably not going to see something like this. As I mentioned, I already have a website installed or added to the site. And that's why you see these options right here. But you're not going to probably see this. What you will see is the add new sitemap option. Now, there's one important piece to clarify. You see the URL of the website is actually partially already added. The main uh, root uh, domain name of the website is already added here. So you don't need to add the complete URL to the sitemap URL. For example, if I open up Notepad and I shrink it down just like this, You'll be able to see that the submit-site.com part is already added. You, you just need to add the information or the URL that's after the forward slash right here. So I'll just copy this part, which is just sitemap.xml and paste it right here. And now if you compare both the URLs, you'll see that this URL is exactly how this URL looks like, the complete URL, right? This is an important step. Otherwise, your website URL or the sitemap URL will be probably rejected or Google won't be able to find it. So once you've done this, just click the submit option or submit button right here. And this process might take 30 seconds or a minute, or in my case, it was just done in a couple of seconds. And once you see this notice on the screen right here, that means you're, you can rest assured that Google has found the index, or I'd say found the sitemap of your website. And technically, in, in, in technical terms, you have submitted your website to Google completely. So if you just click the got it button right here, 
you will see the sitemap url being shown right here the status should be shown success or shown success and you'll see also the number of urls that google has discovered on that sitemap and of course once this is done it might take a few days a couple of weeks for google to start showing uh, your websites in the search results but technically all that you need to do to submit your website to google at least you have done so technically this is the only process you need to do so what we did was verify our website with the search engine and once that was done we took the sitemap url using the search console submitted our sitemap to the search console or this particular search engine and once that is done uh, all is done from your end and that's all you need to do submit to submit your website to google but let me also demonstrate the process of how you will go about doing this with bing webmaster tools so the process of adding your website to Bing is actually very similar to how we did with Google Search Console. So search for Bing Webmaster Tools, which the first link should suffice. Just click on it and it'll open up Bing Webmaster Tools. Once the page is open, just click sign in. And you can use your Microsoft account, your Google account, or your Facebook account to sign in. And if you're setting up your website and already have submitted your website to Google Search Console, then you're using your Google account will be much faster. So let me click Google. And this will bring up the sign-in menu. Use any of your accounts. If you have multiple accounts connected already, just click the account that you want to connect it with. And you'll see these options right here. Now, if your website is already verified in Google Search Console, you can click this option. This will just go to Google Search Console and understand. And uh, it's kind of borrowing the information from Google Search Console or Bing is asking Google, hey, have you verified this website? And they respond with yes. And automatically, Bing also verifies your website, right? So that's much faster. But if, let's say, you are still pending verification on Google Search Console, then what you can do is add your website right here. So let me paste the URL, then I'll click the Add button. So I had to submit the website a few different times because I was receiving some errors, but now it seems to be resolved. So this is the kind of website or this is the kind of screen you should see on the screen right here. Add and verify a site. You can see the link of this website right here. And similar to how we did it Google Search Console, we'll use the HTML meta tag option, not the other two options. And what we'll do is just copy this HTML meta tag right here. Once this is done, we'll go back to All-in-One SEO or our website. And we'll go back to website and in all in one seo we'll go to the sitemap option or sorry we'll go to the general settings once again inside the general settings we'll go to webmaster options or webmaster tools and we'll select bing webmaster tools and we'll paste the link right here and once again you'll see as soon as i click off this uh, this meta tag will change because uh, all in one seo will parse the data so i'll click on this and the website verification tag has been added let me save changes and once again, this is done. It will take some time, maybe 30 minutes an hour, a couple of hours for Bing to now verify my website. And if you don't want to follow this process, again, if you already have an SEO plugin installed, you can just use the exact same process with code snippets. Once again, WP Core, just click a new or click new and click an uh, add new snippet. Go to add your custom code once again. Just do the same process. Uh, add, give it a name, enter the code snippet right here and just submit or save it and actually activate it. And this is how you can do it without using all of SEO if you already have another SEO plugin installed. And once that is done, you'll also submit your website to Bing Webmaster Tools. So let me show you how to do that. Once again, I already have the link to the Webmaster Tools right here or link to, sorry, the sitemap right here. So I don't have to go again on my website and find the sitemap URL, it's already right here. Let's head back to Bing Webmaster Tools and I'll show you where to add your sitemap. So once your website is verified with Bing Webmaster Tool, this is how Bing Webmaster Tools will look like. And similar to how we did in Google Search Console, we go into the sitemaps option and just submit the sitemap. So we'll go into the sitemaps option right here. And inside the sitemap option, we'll click the submit sitemap button. And this will uh, give us a complete URL to add in. The difference here between Google Search Console and Bing Webmaster Tools is that you need to enter the complete URL of the sitemap right here. So I'll click this link right here. I'll just paste the sitemap in and click submit. And once you click submit, Bing again might take 30 seconds or a minute or maybe a couple of minutes to verify yeah, that your sitemap exists. And once it does, this is what you'll see on the screen right here that the sitemap is now uh, successfully added. And now once again, technically once again, you have submitted your website to Bing Webmaster Tools. And the process is actually very similar to every search engine. If you take Yandex or any other search engine, the process is exactly the same. Go to the Webmaster Tools of that particular search engine, verify your ownership uh, given the any method that they provide, and once the website is verified, you'll be able to submit your sitemap to that particular search engines, webmaster tools or whatever they like to call their webmaster tool or their version of webmaster tools. And that's how you submit your website to any of the search engines that you want to. Now, just to clarify that this does not guarantee that you'll instantly start uh, getting 
traffic to your website. That's up to the discretion of the search engines. And it also depends on a lot of different factors. It depends on the content quality, how much content you have, how much links you have, and a lot of different factors. So depending on how your website is structured, how much content you have, you might start getting traffic almost instantly, or it might take a few days. But that's all you need to know to submit your website with any search engine that you know of. If you have still have any questions about this process or any of the process that I demonstrated, leave that in the comments. If you like this video, a like will be appreciated. And if you're interested in learning more about WordPress in easy to follow along tutorials, watch some of these tutorials right here or just subscribe to our channel and we'll notify you whenever we upload a new video. That's it. I'll catch you in the next video.